my channel. So today it is really early and I just finished eating breakfast and I'm still drinking my coffee. But now I have my computer with me and I'm still waiting for my video to upload because for some reason none of these videos actually want to upload to YouTube. So now I have to wait for this one to finish its thing. It's been taking five years. But yeah, today I compete my free skate and we have to leave to the rink in like five minutes. <laughs> but hopefully my video will be able to upload in time because I'm really busy with the competition and everything. So hopefully I'll be able to get it on YouTube. But yeah, now we are gonna go to the rink. <laughs>
Okay guys, so now we are back at the hotel because there was no internet at the rink and my video did not want to upload there either. So hopefully it'll be able to upload now because there's only like an hour left for where it has to actually upload at four. So hopefully it'll finish by then. <laughs> I was technically in first place before the third girl went. <laughs> we should just cut it off there. Be like, stop! The event is over! Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay guys, so my video finally uploaded 10 minutes before 4 o'clock when it's supposed to upload. So, I'm really happy that it's finally finished, but now we're gonna go back up into the room. <laughs> okay guys, so we are back in the hotel room and I changed clothes because we're going to go and eat dinner later. But yeah! Today the competition was kind of crazy <laughs> um, So I'm gonna start off with how everything went this morning So this morning I had my 20 minute practice size and I had to get off the ice earlier because my foot started to really bother me And it started hurting really bad when I would do flips and lutzes and like I couldn't pick at all with that foot And it was just really painful so I had to get off the ice earlier and the entire rink did not have any ice that I could use to put on my foot and it's an ice rink. Like, you would think that an ice rink has ice because it's literally in its name, which is kind of stupid and also kind of annoying at the same time. But yeah, and then I had to get back on the ice in, like, a little bit to compete right after the practice size because my practice size was supposed to end at, like, 8.20 and I was supposed to compete at 9 and I was the second skater out of, like, everyone so yeah, I tried to take my skates off and I like rested my foot for a little bit and I also had like my stick like massager So I tried using that a little bit on my foot too to like hopefully make it go away a little bit And it did a little bit but then when I put my skate back on it started to hurt again And then on the five minute warm-up when I had to get on and like actually when it was time to compete I got on the ice for the five minutes warm-up and I only tried one Lutz but it was too painful so that I was kind of sad about that. <laughs> yeah, and then after I was competing my program, it was a whole mess, but you guys you guys will see that in the video. I also actually ended up doing three double loops in my program because I completely forgot that I do a axle single loop double loop combo in the as like my very first jump in my program. And then I take out my flips and lutzes because I can't do them, and I put in two more double loops. <laughs> so that was kind of crazy, and I probably shouldn't have done that because that is not good. And I also, on one of the loops that I ended up adding in my program, I fell on it and my foot went completely numb and it hurt so bad. And I also, like, my mind went completely blank and I forgot where I was going in my program. And I'm like, wait, what is next? I, I also completely forgot how many jumps I have left. And I did like two more jumps and I was like, I hope that that's enough and I hope that that's not extra jumps because like I completely forgot what I was doing. And then also my last spin, I wasn't even able to finish it because I was too late with the music because I was so confused. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just skating from one side of the ring to the other. And I ended up starting my spin really, really late at the end of my program and I wasn't even able to finish it, which was kind of bad because I didn't even have a combination spin at all. So yeah, and also when I got off the ice like I was in so much pain that I also started crying like when I was getting off of the ice My foot hurt so bad like I could barely walk after I got off of the ice So that's the reason I, I also didn't sit in like the uh, what's it called the kiss and cry Because I could barely get out of the rink so I was lucky I was even to get I was able to get out But yeah, and it took them 30 minutes to find ice 
at that point just go onto the ice and just take like a chunk out of it <laughs> but yeah at first they only found like that uh emergency ice like it's fake ice and like if you shake it it gets cold but it didn't get very cold for some reason it might have been expired or something but it wasn't very good for my foot and then finally after like forever someone was able to find ice so i could ice my foot so at least at least we got ice and then that all that helped my foot feel better i also wanted to mention this has nothing to do with my foot but while i was doing my program on my layback spin i was doing my spin and lucky me i end up spinning right over this like huge like gouge in the hole it was like so big and it wasn't even fresh either because like it was already like filled in with water and i ended up spinning right on top of that and my layback i'm literally like hopping all over the place trying to get my balance and it made me lose all of my balance but I was still able to pull it off, luckily. I was still able to do the spin. Okay, so that is pretty much how today went. It was really crazy, and my foot was in a lot of pain. So that's why I wasn't able to do a very good program. I wish I was able to do a little bit better, but I wasn't able to, sadly. But yeah, now I am ready to go eat. I still have no idea where we're going. Maggie says that we might be going to Cheesecake Factory. And I've never been there before. So I'm pretty excited. And hopefully that we do get to go there. But we'll see when we actually go there. <laughs> So we just got back from eating dinner and it was really really good we did end up going to the cheesecake factory and I got some like I got tomato basil pasta and it was delicious they literally brought it there in like a plate that was so big I couldn't even finish all of it so I had I got was able to bring it home but it was so good it was like a huge plate of it and I couldn't finish all of it and I'm really full and then I, there was also no room for dessert either but I did go to I did get cheesecake because I've never been before and I've never tried their cheesecake and I was able to bring I also brought their cheesecake home because I wasn't able to eat it there so I'll probably eat it later today but I ended up getting um mango key lime cheesecake and it was so good this is what it looks like it's like my cheesecake slice and it has like whipped cream and everything and it looks really good I'm really excited to try it I also wanted to say that we ended up like running into TJ Maxx and I saw this I found this huge bag wait it doesn't even you can't even see the whole thing in the video this is what it looks like and it's literally like it looks like um New York City because they have like the Statue of Liberty and they're ice skating on it so like the only reason I got it was because they're ice skating and also it was only 99 cents of course I'm gonna get it and it's like so big I love it so much Okay guys, I think that I'm going to end the video off here because it's pretty late and I'm really tired. Today was a pretty long day. So yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Love you guys. Bye.